Welcome back. Let's get your breaking update. What we are getting to know that uh, in Rajouri area, what we are told that three suspected people travelling on a motorbike broke the police naka late uh, last evening in near North Shara. And what is being said that the police, with the help of the locals, chased the vehicle and intercepted it at some distance. Ah, uh, Pradeep, ye kahan log the? कोई सस्पेक्ट थे ये मोटरसाइकिल पर सवार थे और ये ठालकी एरिया का वाक्य है कल देर शाम ये नौशहरा के इलाके में ये इनके पास क्या था क्यों लेकर क्यों ये भागे हैं ये सारी चीजें तभी पता चलेगी जैसे ये पकड़े जाएंगे लेकिन इस समय तलाशी अभियान इनके लिए भी जारी है और तलाशी अभियान उन आतंकवादियों के लिए भी जारी है जिन्होंने डांगरी में चार दिन पहले एक नापाक मनसूबा जो था अपना निभाया था वहां पर जिस जिस तरीके से उन्होंने विलेजर्स को टारगेट किया था Okay, we're seeing dramatic footage of uh, the, uh, the suspects fleeing from there. More breaking inputs coming in of the security that has been heightened in the area. A lot of steps that have been taken to prevent incidents of uh, targeted killings in the border districts of Rajouri and Pooch. Uh, Pradeep, the security has been heightened with 18 companies of the paramilitary Central Reserve Police also being deployed. Yes, several steps have been taken uh, to ensure that such incidents are not repeated. What really happened in Dangri a few days back when twin terror attack took place in which six people lost their lives and 12 others were injured. 18 companies of paramilitary, that means centers of CRPF, are being rushed to the border district of Rajouri and Puch. Besides this, the village defense committee will be equipped with SLR rifles, insult rifles, to, instead of uh, 3 not 3 what they are carrying right now. And pickets of army and paramilitary force will be established at different places so that the terrorists can. Be kept at bay. So different measures will be taken to ensure that such incidents are not repeated. We have seen the terrorists are trying to communalize the atmosphere by carrying out these communal massacres where they are trying to target one particular community so that there is a communal backlash. That's what their intention is to destabilize the situation. So to prevent such incidents from happening, already Home Minister had a meeting in this regard. Few days back, uh, there was a meeting even in Rajouri, just a police line that was chaired by Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha. So all these measures were discussed, and now the 18. Companies of uh, CRPF have been rushed to the spot, and uh, in a day or two, they will be deployed at different places so that people do not face any kind of problem, and their confidence is also built. And besides this, they are also going to revive and resurrect those village defence committees so that they can be provided the best uh, rifles uh, to fight against terror. Because already we have seen they might not be having uh, the uniform, but there is no dearth of the guts and determination among these uh, mm. people. They are ready to fight against terror. That's what actually they demanded after the terror. Attack when they met left wing governor Manoj Sinha. They said that had we been having rifle, we would not have allowed terrorists to enter our village. So, unko self defence ke liye logon ko kya provide kiya jayega? Kya kisi tarikhe ki training bhi di jayegi kya Pradeep? Dekhiye, jo ye logon ki baat kare hai, to logon ko वहां पे एक तो राइफल्स अभी देखिए उनके पास थ्री नॉट थ्री है उन्हें इंसास राइफल दी जाएगी उन्हें सोफिस्टिकेटेड वेपन दिया जाएगा पिकेट्स वहां पे लगेंगी 18 जो टुकड़ियां हैं सीआरपीएफ की वो जगह जगह पर तैनात की जाएंगी और खासकर जो सेंसिटिव इलाके हैं जहां पे हिंदू पॉपुलेशन ज्यादा रहती है और टारगेट हो, हो सकते हैं तो वहां पे पिकेट्स और पोस्ट बनाई जाएगी जो परमानेंटली वहां पे जो सुरक्षा कर्मियां तैनात रहेंगे ताकि आतंकवादी उन्हें टारगेट न कर सके बिल्कुल नब्बे के दशक में भी ऐसे हालात कुछ देखे गए थे डोडा और किश्तवाड़ के इलाके में और पूंछ रजौरी के इलाके में तब भी ऐसी टारगेटेड किलिंग होती थी कम्युनल मैसेकर होते थे ताकि हिंदुओं को टारगेट किया जाए वहां से प्लान करवाया जाए या कम्युनल टेंशन क्रिएट की जाए तो तब भी विलेज डिफेंस कमेटी को बनाया गया था और अब एक बार फिर से जो गांव जो विलेज डिफेंस कमेटी है उनको एक बार फिर से रिवाइव किया जाएगा जहां पे नहीं है और जहां पे हैं उनको थ्री नॉट थ्री राइफल की बजाय उन्हें एसएलआर राइफल या इंसास राइफल दी जाएगी ताकि आतंकवादियों से पूरी तरह से वो मुकाबला करने के लिए सक्षम हो ओके ऑल राइट सो इन दिजुअल्स दट वी सींग ऑफ दस्पेक्ट वे फ्लेड फ्रॉम देयर प्रदीप एनी मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन कमिंग इन ऑन हु दे कुड बी बिकॉज यू नो वीव सीन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मूवमेंट सस्पेक्ट्स एंड ऑफकोर्स द काइंड ऑफ इंसिडेंट्स दैट हैव टेकन प्लेस इन द लास्ट वीक और सो हैव रेज कंसर्न ऑफ द सिटीजन देर killing so there is a lot of security uh, deployment at different places and late last evening the three people they were on motorcycle they were asked to stop at one of the naka point in uh, in thalki area in nashera uh, which is just uh, 40 kilometers ahead of rajouri town where this incident took place so they didn't stop they broke that naka point checkpoint and they uh, tried to flee from that area immediately after that the police as well as uh, uh, the villagers they uh, chased them and what these uh, uh, three suspects did they uh, uh, they dropped their uh, motorbike there and they fled right. towards the nearby forest belt and right now that has now been launched to uh, nab them
They are said to be suspected terror suspects. What is being said that the security forces now will be looking into Pradeep. Thank you very much for the moment. Arasan Singh sir is with us here on the broadcast. Sir, good morning. Now looking at the current situation, we are looking at the different tactic now being taken up by the terrorists there, sir, by even targeting families. And we have seen six civilians' lives being lost in just a matter of 15 hours. Well, uh, that is the dimension of jihad, and that is the uh, that is the ugliness ugliness of jihad. So, I mean, uh, they don't distinguish between, uh, you know, uh, security personnel and, you know, normal civilians and their families. So, uh, what the state has done is that, you know, you must have uh, read that uh, additional, you know, um, uh, more than 15 paramilitary companies, uh, the CRPF companies are being deployed uh, there, but... Uh, uh, I, I somehow I get a feel that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, post Article 370, our approach should have been a, a, a little different. Mm. And uh, we only concentrated on the physical security side of it. Uh, we hardly attempted at you know, de-radicalization. And uh, it really doesn't help. I don't know. I mean, uh, you may uh, tout it as an achievement, you know, about the tourist footfalls. But then the jihadis are very clever. I mean, uh, they, they don't uh, interfere with tourists, but are, are carrying out selected targeting. Okay. Now, this, this doesn't reconcile. This, this doesn't reconcile. And, and I, uh, one of the reasons for this is stepped up, uh, you know, targeted killings is that, you know, the, yes. uh, the, the, uh, what Pakistan army is facing on, uh, you know, no, on account of Tariq e Taliban Pakistan. Things yes, are, things so are, things, things seem are, to be worsening, Mr. Singh, like you mentioned. So a lot of efforts also being taken up by the government, including ensuring there is an increase in the surveillance in the area, paramilitary forces also being deployed. We're slipping into a quick break here on that note. We'll be right back with the top stories. Do stay with us.